Hi everyone, welcome to my next video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to map a new hard drive. So today I literally just put in a brand new one terabyte SSD. It's a one terabyte SanDisk SSD Plus. Basically, I've pre-ordered the new Call of Duty and as you can see on my local drives, I literally have 50 gigabytes free on my C drive and 81 gigabytes free on my SSD. Now, unfortunately, this game is probably going to be huge, so that's why I've added an extra terabyte. So I'm going to show you how to map the drive and access it. It's really simple, really quick. Um, what you do, go to start, type in DSK, and then create and format hard disk partitions appears. Click that. Let this load. Once it's loaded, you'll have a list of all the drives that are detected even ones that haven't been formatted or given a drive letter yet. So as we can see, this is my existing 500 gigabyte SSD. But then underneath this black bar, this means this is an unformatted drive. And as you can see, it says 931 gigabytes. Now, realistically, when you get like a terabyte drive, 70 or gigabytes of it is used anyway. Um, so I just need to map this. So what you do, is click the drive that you found which you need to format right click it press new simple volume now the wizard comes up press next and then what you can do here is you can actually put in a different size so if you want to make multiple partitions you can separate the hard drive into multiple parts um, in this case i'm just going to use the whole drive as one piece so what I will do is leave the number as is and press next. Now next, you can um, assign a letter. Now, you want to make sure the letter doesn't overlap anything you have already mapped. So for example, um, I have some external hard drives, which hang on a bit. I've got a server, which my computer's connected to. So these are Y and Z. So if I was to put in Y, it wouldn't work. Well, it would work, but I wouldn't actually be able to see the drive, um, especially whilst I have the server connected. So what I want to do is make sure I just pick a letter which isn't there. So I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to go for X. So I've got Y and Z, but I don't have X. So I'm going to select X, press next. And then here you want to leave your file system as NTFS if you're using it as a normal file storage. Um, you want to leave the allocation unit size as default and the volume label you can do whatever you want with. So for me, I'm just going to do um, SSD one terabyte because on my other SSD, I just put SSD 500 gig gigabyte. So I just know exactly what drive I'm putting it on. Quick format, fine, uh, hit next. And then if it will give you a summary of everything that you have just selected. That looks all good to me. So I'm just going to press finish. And there we go. Now it is allocated. If it says X, it says SSD one terabyte. And if I go back to File Explorer, SSD one terabyte has appeared. And under my X letter path, if I go in there, I can use it. I can put files in there. I can just use it as any normal drive. And that's it. So I hope this helps. Really simple. If you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know. Um, I'll be happy to help you out. And thanks for watching. Cheers.